Hello there. I am doing a different type of video, at least for me. Um, I'm doing a, a vinyl finds video for March 21st. These are records that I've picked up that I have not yet brought home and cleaned and listened to. And I just kind of want to show some of the things that I've, I have right now. So first up, Fanny. This reissue just came out and this i've heard of them i know this is like the first rock and female rock and roll band like this is like 1972 going into 73 and then there's another band called bertha that i guess is a close second i think both from los angeles i picked up the pets i got this from deadly waxed in um Chatsworth, a record store that's close to me and I go to all the time. This says, this is one of the most obscure records ever released in Venezuela in the 60s and the only recording of the pets. The 1967 album shows perfectly what the influences of the Venezuela new wave scene were at the time, including versions of The Doors, Beatles, Rolling Stones, Paul Revere, and The Raiders. So I haven't heard this, but it's interesting. I love South American rock and roll. Susie and the Banshees. This is the Peel Sessions on Strange Fruit. I collect Peel Sessions records. I already actually have this and I picked it up again. This is probably what? You know, this is 1987. Um, John Peel recorded lots of different bands and this is Susie and the Banshees. In 1987, she was huge. And I can't wait to clean this and see if it's an upgrade from the one hour and a half. Another Peel Sessions, The Birthday Party. I've only heard of The Birthday Party because of The Peel Sessions. It's been on my list for a long time. I don't have any other, other music. This says, came out in 88, but I think uh, this Peel Session was December 2nd, 1981. sessions okay this is one of my favorite PL sessions it's gonna be the cure this again this came out must have been 87 I don't really know this is recorded December 1978 so this is early cure killing an Arab 1015 Saturday night fire in Cairo boys don't cry this is good cure okay, that's Nice. Here. This one I got yesterday. Son of Schmilson. Record Safari sticker. Got it from Record Safari. This is white, white sticker promo. Um, this is what, 1972. Harry Nielsen. And it's it's got songs broken down, the fifth song on side one, You're Breaking My Heart, and then someone wrote, So Fuck You, which is from the song, which is great. Spaceman, lottery song. This has got the lyrics. Looks like a, a poster with the lyrics. Black poster and a white poster. And the vinyl. Oh, interesting. It's not really a white label promo like I had thought. It's on this Victor promo, the Victor label. The year before this album was his most famous album, and that's when he was hanging out with John Lennon and Ringo Starr in LA and partying it up. This next one I got today. Alice Cooper. This cartoon contains one Alice Cooper muscle of love promotional. This is great. This is like the second Alice Cooper white label promo I've gotten in the past few weeks. 
It comes with like an inner sleeve. The box is like the sleeve of the record, and I guess this is like the inner. And the vinyl. All right, this is like the inner sleeve. Institute of Nude Wrestling. The album's called Muscle of Love. It is a white label promo. I collect white label promos. I, I seek them out. I've done it for a long time. I have a lot of white label promos and I just never really picked up the Alice Cooper stuff until recently. And now they're just kind of presenting themselves. So that's Alice Cooper. The next one, The Clash. Um, looks like an alternate cover because you're not seeing the green, but it's because using a green screen, it's keying that out. But this is The Clash. Property of CBS, demonstration only, not for sale. And this is another promo. 18 track, double album, five pounds. It's not a gatefold. It's got London Calling, it's got the normal inner sleeve. I guess that came out with the album. It's white label, but I don't see promo. CBS, made in England, 1979. But I don't see it's a, that it is a promo, other than it says promo on the back. Uh, gold stamp. Well, I guess I'll just kind of put that there. Okay, another one I got from Deadly Wax is the Constant Sound. I've never heard of him. He wrote on here, Lost Psych by the Working Crew, Constant Sound, 1968, called One of the Holy Grails of 60s Sunshine Pop and Light Psych. Well, I didn't notice that. Um, I don't really like 60s Sunshine Pop so much or Light Psych. I like Hard Psych and blues psych and more heavy psych um, but it was called one of the holy grails of the 60s sunshine pop and light psych by patrick lundberg author of the acid archives i just did a video about the acid archives book yesterday check that out if you haven't seen that known existing copies of this very rare and very obscure 1968 demo only and the demo sold for 2100 in 2015 this was in los angeles that'll be interesting this one from Deadly Wax again is Idle Race. I don't know much. I know what um, the guy from ELO, Jeff Lynn. Jeff Lynn is in this band. Is that his first band? This is 2004 Record Store Day Gold Vinyl. Parlophone. Oh, and it's called The Birthday Party. Much like the band, The Birthday Party. Yeah. Cool. The second to last one is Argent. White label promo, Nexus. Argent, Rod Argent was in The Zombies. And I love The Zombies. I don't know this album at all, 1974. I know Hold Your Head Up and it's not on this album. I'm curious to play this. Okay, it's not a white label promo. It is just a promo on the Epic label. And yeah, this is, I'm looking forward to playing this. Okay, the last one. Fragile, yes. This was what, 1972. It's got the hype sticker roundabout dj promotional dj copy it's got the timing it is a gatefold and it's got a seam split okay it is a white label promo it's just got some scratches vg minus um press well fragile i think i have about four yes white label promos now um i don't know how much my degrader is going to clean this 
but I'll give it a shot. Hopefully it'll turn well. Live, 1972. Fragile. Okay, that is my vinyl finds for March 21st. Thank you, and I will see you next time.